If you're new here, my name is Marilyn, and if you're not new, welcome back. So once again, I haven't filmed a video in such a long time. I've been struggling, you guys. I have a lot of things going on in my life right now, and it's just like so stressful, and I don't have time for anything. I'm even three weeks behind in like school assignments, so yeah, I'm pretty stressed. But anyways, this morning I felt like filming a video, and since it's the last day of August, I decided to do my empties, so here they are. I have a lot of them, or it's not a lot, it's just like bulky items. Okay, so the first item, it is this Witch Hazel by Equate, and I get this one from Walmart. And I really like this Witch Hazel, I've tried other Witch Hazels, and this one is my favorite. Like, it really works for acne and redness and all of that, so if you guys have acne, you guys should try this out, like after you wash your face, and just apply it with a little cotton round, and that's it. Okay, now the next product that I finished, it is this olive oil and this one is a Chestnut Hill 100% Extra Virgin Oil and I use this to remove my makeup. I've been using this for a couple of years and I really like it. I feel like it's better than actual makeup remover because it helps to remove like waterproof mascara and it like comes off super easy so yeah and this also helps to moisturize your lashes so you can't go wrong with that okay now the next product that i finished it is another cleanser and this one is a pre-cleanse by dermalogica and it's this one right here i believe i got this one for free from buzz agent and it's like a full size it was 5.1 fluid ounces i have allergies right now so if my eyes are watery that is why Anyways, I did get this like a couple of months ago and I've been using it to remove like my face makeup and also my eye makeup and it works really good but I feel like the olive oil works way better for eye makeup but it was still really nice to use this before washing my face and it felt like my face was extra clean because I like double cleanse so yeah but anyways I'm not sure if I will repurchase this I don't know maybe sometime in the future I will okay now the next thing that I used up it is this face mask and this is a fresh food for skin facial sheet mask by farm skin this one right here and i really like this face mask it didn't irritate my skin and my skin felt like really moisturized and it didn't cause my face to get extra oily so i really like that and i get these from amazon like it comes in a pack of 12 or 24. okay now the next product it is a palmer's cocoa butter formula with vitamin e length retention biotin pack and i believe i got this one from the walmart beauty box but this one is for people with curly hair and obviously i don't have curly hair but I still used it, I really liked it, it was really moisturizing. I used it after shampooing my hair and sometimes I would mix it with my conditioner and leave it on my hair for like 5 to 10 minutes. And it just left my hair really moisturized and it smelled really good as well so I really really like this. Okay the next product that I finished it is this face soap and this one is a sepsia deep cleansing without blackheads. And this one is an exfoliating blue bar. It really helps to get rid of acne as well. And I just really like the little exfoliating beads because it just like scrubs the dead skin. And I feel like when I scrub my face with this soap, it actually makes my skin feel better and clean and all of that. So yeah. Anyways, I will repurchase this sometime in the future because right now I got my other favorite soap. So I will be buying this later on. Okay, now the next thing that I finished, it is this tea. And this is a green tea with mint. I'm not sure where I got this one, but this one is really good. It tastes good and minty. And I love drinking green tea every morning. So yeah, I will repurchase this once I remember where I got it. I'm not sure if I got it at Dollar Tree or 99 cent store or Walmart. But oh, and I did like the little bags of tea because they look like silky and it just looks fancy. So yeah. And then I also finished another tea. And this one is a Yogi Honey Lavender Stress Relief Soothing Serenity Blend. And it's this one right here. It comes with 16 tea bags. And I really love the flavor of this and the smell of this. And it's just really relaxing. So I like drinking these like in the afternoon or if I'm like really stressed in the morning. I will take one of these instead of the green tea. And I get these at Walmart. Okay, now the next thing that I finished, it is the Forsali Quench Moisture Replenishing Serum. 
and it's this one right here i did get this one i believe from boxycharm the last time that i got boxycharm oh i did sign up to boxycharm again so i should be getting another boxycharm soon i did get this one a while back and i did finish it already and it was a dropper as you can see and it is completely empty i used it every single night for like i don't know like four months or something like that and i didn't really like it because it made my face feel like sticky but then i applied my other moisturizers and it would go away but i just didn't like that it felt sticky when it's supposed to feel like hydrating maybe it's just because my skin is weird or something but anyways i still enjoyed using it because i love using serums now and it didn't break me out or anything like that so yeah I'm really happy with that and I'm really happy that I was able to try this out as well but I probably won't repurchase it because I don't like that sticky feeling anyways if you guys tried this let me know what you guys think of it do you guys like it and did it feel sticky for you guys okay now the next product that I finished it is these salon pads pain relieving patch patches and these are for temporary relief of minor aches and pains and I actually started using these in June because for some reason in June this part of my shoulder was killing me and it still hurts really bad i don't know what the heck it is and it got like really swollen and stiff and like the pain would go like down to my like heart i'm not sure if it has to do anything with the heart or anything but i don't know it was weird and sometimes the pain would go up my jaw and like the little vein would be like pulsing and i don't know I don't know what the hell's wrong with me but I started getting that pain when I got like really really angry and stressed and it just didn't go away and I still have it like I can't sleep on this side anymore either because it just gets really swollen and disgusting but anyways these work really good and it feels like icy hot and it just feels like cooling and refreshing but it doesn't make the pain go away like completely but it does like relieve some pain so yeah okay i also finished the shampoo and conditioner by herbal essences and this one is a hollow hydration and they smell really good and it smells like coconuts so i really like it and it made my help my hair it made my hair feel really hydrated and and it just smelled really good i didn't repurchase these because right now i'm using the the shampoo for red hair the color me happy i believe but anyways i will repurchase those later on okay and then i also finished this setup fill moisturizing lotion for body and face i use this for my body and face well mostly my face but sometimes if i'm in the room and i don't want to go to the restroom to apply lotion on my body i just use this and it works really good and this one one actually works really good if you have acne prone skin it doesn't break you out and it doesn't make you extra oily or anything it's just really good and as you can see it is completely empty and i already repurchased this so yeah i really really like that okay the next product that i finished it is the vital proteins original collagen peptides and it's this one right here i take this every day two scoops well i mean I used to because I was going to repurchase this and I ended up buying a different kind which I don't really like because it's too sweet and I really like this one because it didn't have a flavor so once I finished the ones that I bought recently I will repurchase this because I really like it and this actually helps with hair and nails and everything so I really really like this and I have been drinking this every day to get protein because it helps me lose weight as well so yeah it doesn't taste like anything you could mix it with your coffee your tea or your smoothies i mix it with my smoothies i drink smoothies every single day oh and as you can see it is completely empty okay and then i also finished these vitamins and this is the heart and soil blood builder and it's these right here and it's just like regular like kind of like multivitamins but this one has like liver and all that nasty stuff that you wouldn't really eat at least i wouldn't eat it and I would take six of these every single day. It's just vitamins and it helps with your blood and everything. But I will not repurchase these because these are super expensive. I mean, I feel like they were expensive. They were like $54 or something like that. I'm just trying different vitamins and seeing what works and whatnot. I mean, this did help. It helped me with my mood and everything. And it just helped me feel more energized as well. Let me know if you guys have ever tried these. Okay, the next thing that I finished, it is another box of green tea. And this one is a Bigelow green tea with lemon. And it came with 20 tea bags. And this one I get from Walmart. And like I said, I drink these every single day because 
it helps to lose weight and everything and it just helps with energy if you don't want to drink coffee i don't really like drinking coffee during summer so that's why i've been drinking green tea but even during fall and winter when i drink coffee i put a green tea tea bag inside my coffee and it tastes good i feel like it tastes good i don't know i'm weird okay so the next thing that i finished are these cotton rounds and these are the equate beauty woven exfoliating rounds and it's these right here these were interesting like one side was like smooth and the other side had like little bumps and like it says it was exfoliating rounds so it did help to like remove extra makeup like once you wash your face I'm not sure if I will repurchase these because I'm not using cotton rounds that much anymore I'm just using a spray bottle to apply witch hazel on my face okay and I also finished a deodorant and this one is the degree motion sense sexy intrigue invisible solid deodorant this smells really good and i like it because even after a workout you smell good and you don't stink so yeah okay now i did finish a little sample perfume and this one is by banana republic and this one is a 90 pure white you can't really see the name it's like really hard to see but anyways i did finish it and i really liked it. it smelled really good okay and then i finished a little foundation or it's like a bb cream and this one is the Isadora Active All Day Wear Makeup Wet and Humidity Proof. And this is what it looks like. I did get this one for free from Buzz Agent and Isadora. So I really like this. And I actually used to mix this with my regular foundation because this was too white and my other foundation was too dark. But anyways, I really like this. It made my skin look really nice. They let me know if you guys have ever tried this foundation. I believe you could find this in CVS or is it Walgreens? I can't remember but anyways I'm really happy that I was able to try this out okay now the next product that I finished it is the Isadora glossy eyeliner in 40 chrome black you guys have seen me use this for a very long time and I finally finished it so it has a little bit of product but when I apply it on my eyes it's like really dry and hard to apply so anyways I did use this for like a year and a half or maybe a little bit more I can't remember and it was a really good eyeliner oh this one I also got for free from bus agent okay now the next eyeliner that I finished it is the Ico London carbon black eyeliner and it's this one right here I don't remember where I got this one but I have been using this one as well and it's like dried out already and it just looks weird. It's like very faint so this doesn't work as an eyeliner anymore. I feel like this didn't really last that long. I think I only used it like 10 times. Maybe a little bit more but I didn't like this so I will not repurchase anything from this brand for at least the eyeliner because I didn't like it. Okay now the next product that I finished it is a lip liner and this was a LA Colors. I forgot what this one was called but it was in my project pen. So this is it right here. I completely finished it. I think it was like natural or something like that or I don't remember. But anyways, it took me about 6-7 months to finish this and I'm really happy about that. It was a really pretty lip liner. And that is all of my empties. I don't have any more. So I'm really happy with all of the products I finished. I feel like it was a lot of it and, and it makes me happy that I also finished some makeup products. So anyways, let me know in the comments below if you guys have tried any of these products. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and I will try to make more videos besides the project pan updates and my empties videos because I haven't been able to do more than that. So yeah, anyways, that is all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and I will talk to you guys later. Bye guys.